Hey guys, Mr. Sui Jr. here, aka Mustache. Time to walk back to some more Octopath Traveler just to catch up on some things I did off screen. Uh, I'll give you a look at our jobs. We have collected all the secret ones. So we got Rune Lord, uh, Sorcerer, Oh wait, let me do that. Rune Lord, Starseer, War Master, and Sorcerer. Those are the four secret uh, classes in this game. So we have her as the Rune Lord, Cyrus as the Sorcerer. Uh, Ulbrich as the War Master, and her as the Star Seer. Alrighty, so let's hear. Oh, uh, and my permanent party for any new area, by the way, is Therion to open chest, Cyrus to scan people, and whoever the quest person is, for in this case, it's going to be Primrose for Chapter 3. We're going to start that. And Teresa, because that's the character we started with. So there we go. Here we go. The story so far. In the town of Still Snow, Primrose got her first taste of revenge. There she struck down the left wing of the crow, driving the dagger engraved with her family's words into his, into his breast. Faith shall be your shield. The words had served her well. Now two remain, the man with the mark on his right arm and the foulest bird of all. With the mark on his neck, go home to the normal court, she was told. There you will find the truth you seek, but will the truth bring her peace or further pain? And so, after so many years, Primrose comes home. Oh boy. Oh my. How long has it been? When I left, I thought I would never return this, to this place. The crow said I would find the truth here. But what truth was he speaking of? Two more men bearing the mask of the foul bird. Hmm. My search continues here. Look, that young lady, is that not young lady, not Lady Primrose? No. You're seeing things, friend. House as a heart is nothing but a memory now. Hmm. Right, of course. No need to drag up old ghosts. There's plenty enough going on in the present. Just look. <laughs> What's happening over there? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Darling, please open your eyes. Say, no, say it's it's not so. Mm -hmm. Cry and shame that injustice is business to start and take off. Just so. Rumor has it his voice to displease you with his lordship and a bit too loudly, into, if you catch my meaning. That's why I keep my mouth shut, lest I end up dead on the street like that poor sod. What? Murder in Noborkart, of all places. What? When I was young, father and, and the city watch saw that hardly a crime was committed here. What has become of this place since I left? Out of the way, you slack jug fools. We're here by express order of the Lordship to inspect the scene. Now clear out lest we toss you, you in a gall for impending a, the investigation. Gall? Sure. How can that 
The Lord's own guardsmen are investigating the crime. What? Where is the city watch? He was one of Father's trusted friends. Velo Forsworth, Lieutenant Commander of the Dr City Watch. At least, he used to be. So he was spared the wrath of the crows, at least. Row a raven from the uh, oh, so it has been clipped. There, it was the Azelhat Azelheart girl that did the deed, did you say? So she still lives after all. Yeah, <laughs> guess we'll give. We'll just have something about something about that. <laughs> Mark my words. That is a heart line ends here. Oh, oh. Meanwhile. Could it be, Lady Primrose? Is it truly you, Lady Primrose? Impossible. I know that voice. Masaka. Mm. From a lifetime ago. Primrose. Do my eyes see true? You have grown lovelier than I could have ever dreamed, Lady Primrose. Simeon, or. Simeon. Yeah, Simeon. Where have you been all these years? Hmm. Not here, that's for certain. You know, I have always wanted to run it fast and far and as I could from this stuffy old town. Uh. So I set out on a journey across the realm. And yet, no matter how far I traveled, I cannot escape the pain of losing you. Hmm. Of course. These days I make a living as a playwright of sorts. I pin dramas and tragedies for the stage. <laughs> he always did have a way with words. That's why I would have I would never return to this place, and one day I felt an odd yearning. <laughs> and no sooner do I arrive than I am reunited with you. Fate is a mysterious thing, is it not? Hmm. Hmm. But enough about me. Where have you been all these years, my love? Oh. What do I even tell him? There is not a thing I could say without sullying my his memories of me forever. I'm sorry. My apologies, that was too forward of me. You needn't see say anything a thing. Besides, I can imagine all too well without hearing the word. Life has not been kind to you, and though you have grown all the more beautiful through the hardships, you no doubt suffered. It still pains me that you had to suffer them. Uh, Simone's gentle words stirred something in Primrose, a feeling she had not felt in many years, for the first time in what seemed like forever. She felt somewhere deep in her heart a measure of peace. He is too kind to me, he always was. Oi! What are you two loitering about? 
That looks like a spot of trouble. I just as soon avoid. Come, my lady, let's find somewhere we can chat in private. Ah, uh, let's go. Whoop, 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 Seeing you again, it brings back so many memories. Memories of my childhood days in this town. I could never understand why my father was so strict with me. I was always running off to the gardens for a good cry. And that was where I would find you, and find an excuse to shirk my duties as gardener's apprentice. I wanted nothing more than to spend time with you, to be a part of your world. Little lady, why do you cry so? <laughs> Be drawn to one another. Oh, she's drawn to the nectar of the fragrant blooms. Young romance, sir. You were always penning poems for me. Your words, your songs, gave me comfort and solace. In the darkest days after I lost father, you would sing them for me. Over and over. To tell the truth, Primrose, I left this town to search for you. Mm -hmm. I tried so many times to forget you, to accept that you were gone. Yet time and again, I found myself reciting the poems I had written you. Forgive me, Primrose. Forgive him! There is nothing to forgive. It was all so very mm. Is he talking about something else, or has he just I been do. silly? I don't <laughs> those days. I have found my own reason to be mm. And when the moon waxes full and bright in dark heaven, and stars glitter worlds away from earthly sorrow, would that sleep hold you in her soft embrace? Then shall my eyes close, lips open in prayer. For it is only in dreams that we may meet again. Simeon. And then there was silence. In that moment, there is nothing that words could convey. Lady Primrose, I intend to remain in town for some time yet. I still have not forgiven myself, knowing that I could not do more for you. It tortures me to this day. If there is any way, any way at all, in which I can be of service to you, my lady, you need only say the word. Thank you, Sonia. <laughs> Alrighty. Enough distractions. I must find the man marked by the crow. Where to begin? Hmm. Where to begin, indeed. Oh. So, let's have a look see. So. So, who's the Simeon guy? Well. Was he someone really special to you? Hmm. Teresha, have you ever felt a special kinship to someone? Special kinship, you mean like aside from fa my family? I guess I never thought about it. Trading's been my life since before I can remember. I kind of feel a connection with my customers when we make a good deal. Is that the same thing? Let me tell you something, Teresa. When something a buddy person resonates deep within you, it's the most wonderful feeling. 
your heart is freed, your mind is opened, and you realize there's more to the world than you ever knew. But I wouldn't expect you to understand, after all, you're still a little girl. Hey! Who are you calling little? Oh, there's more! Let's hear it. Mm? A moment of your time. May I be as so bold to pry? Huh? That man is very important to you, is he not? Why do you uh, say that? Tis a conjecture based on how you both look at each other. Had you not chosen you to live your life the way you had, I wonder if... You can stop right there, Professor. How I live my life is my affair, not yours. But yes, quite. I do apologize. I'd best be careful, right, and be sharper than he looks. <laughs> he's... he's bad at the romance himself, but he can find it in others. Feel like I can find well. Jeffrey, I will return. Don't what? what's this? Are my eyes to be believed? How could this My lady, are you Jeffrey's Joffrey's? <laughs> it has been too long, Master for a thief. Lady Primrose? Too long indeed. We all knew you would grow to be great beauty, but even still, I feel as though I am standing before a vision from the heavens. It brings me great joy to know you are well, my Lady Primrose. As it does me to see what you hail and hearty, Master Forsyth. The gods. Age has stuffed my my back and blurred my eyes, but just seeing you before me, I thank the gods for blessing me with long life. You flatter me over much, you my good sir. I was just paying Joffrey a visit, as I do from time to time. You should do the same, Lady Primrose, let your father bask best in your beauty as well. No. <laughs> I cannot face father, not yet. Before that, there is something I must do. I am sorry to hear, my lady. But where... <laughs> where have you kept yourself all these years? There are many people who would have been more happy to... Take you in. The truth is... I've been on a journey of sorts, if you must know the truth. I'm sorry. Forgive me, I had no idea you had suffered through such dark days. You did well to endure and return to us, Lady Primrose. I endured only because I must. I must learn the truth behind father's death and have my revenge upon those bastards who took him from me. Master Forsyth, is there nothing you can tell me? There was a time when I too sparred, spared no effort in trying to unravel the secrets behind Lord Joffrey's murder. But in the end, I was left wishing I never had. My lady, I urge you to tread lightly. This business will, lead, will be the death of you if you do not watch your back. I am ready for whatever may come. <clears throat> I know what I must do. Very well. Come with me and I will tell you what I know. Excellent. Uh... Oh! I'm back, Anna! Oh? I was wondering what was keeping you, dear. Pray tell, who is this beauty you've brought with you? It's not possible. L Lady Primrose? My, but I never... 
and so beautiful a woman grown. Pinch me, my dear, I must be dreaming. I thought to say myself, now what say we share a cup of tea? And so from the dark day to onward, the balance of power here in Noble Court shifted and shifted dramatically. Under Lord Joffrey's stewardship, House Iselhart was the most prominent of all the Hawk Great families. Working closely with the City Watch, he took it upon himself to uphold the peace and keep people ha the people happy. Crime of any sort was nine unheard of. Oh, what happy days those were. Though those cities with a wont to do ill deeds might have fallen in a bit shift stiffly. But it matters little. Those times of peace and security are all but a dream now. Ah. Uh, in the chaos and disorder that followed, the fall of House is a hearty group of men seized power. They call themselves the Obsidians. <laughs> they began their operation peddling illicit tinctures back when your father still lived. Working in the shadows, just out of sight of Joffrey's watchful eye, made one shady deal after the next, filling their coffers and waking powerful friends. Swayed by the influence of their coin, cutlass, once lawful men cast their lot with these villains, and the ones that didn't, Captain Elbius commanded the city watch in those days. Maybe you remember him? He was Lord Joffrey's right hand in the most just and honorable man I've been privileged to know. Unfortunately, his code of honor put him at odds with the Obsidians, and so they took action. <laughs> Murdered like my father. <laughs> Absent his leadership, the city watch collapsed, and the Obsidian seized power with the greatest of ease. I spent years trying to follow the trail of corruption to find who led them where the blood money flowed. In the end, I found that I was up against an opponent too evil. I have faced it, innumerable threats to my own life. Two of the cohorts from the watch who worked tirelessly to help me try to track them down. The truth. <laughs> the truth were murdered in cold blood. Ugh. Honor and justice are long dead here, never to return. I am an old man now, and I grow weary of this battle. I am but a minor landowner now, with no influence of which to speak. All I can do is bring flowers to Joffrey's grave. There's nothing more I can do for him or for you. And I beg, beg of you, pretty uh, Lady Primrose, leave this place. Trust me, my lady, were your father here, he would say the same. I beg to differ, Master Forsyth. Were my father here, this is what he would say. Faith shall be your shield. Hmm. hmm. Mayhap you are right. Mayhap I have only twisted my memories of Joffrey to ease my regret of my own cowardice. Forgive me, my lady. I do you a dishonor. Nothing. I know where the Obsidians make their headquarters in town. I will take you there. Boom, boom, boom. 
Lady Primrose. I will wait for you here, my lady. Pray tell me whenever you are ready to depart. Mm. Oh, it's more. <laughs> Time for some breaking and entering. Indeed. Think you can pull it off. Here he is. It does not matter if I can or not. The fact is, I must. Mm. I've thought about giving up more than once. I've wondered what sort of life I could live if I've chosen a different path. But each time I do, I can't imagine what the future would look like. This is all I know. If you say so. If you're trying to talk me out of avenging my father, that's not it. I just know how easy it is to screw things up if you're not if you don't stay calm. So don't go losing your head in there, okay? Stay calm, I'll remember that. Thank you, Furion. Hey. Alright, let's do this. This is the den of the obsidians. Gratitude, Master Forsyth. I cannot guarantee your safety should you choose to go forward, my lady. I owe you a debt. Nor would I ask you to. Lady Primrose? You mean not to avenge Joffrey's death, do you not? I'll do what I do. It has been my sole reason for living all these years. Very well. In that case, Lady Primrose. Pray allow this old man to accompany you. There was a time when I too vowed I would see justice served. For so long I have abandoned hope and lost my way. But reuniting with you, it has lit the path before me anew. It is the light of the flame shined upon us. I realize now that for all I have learnt over the years, I still know nothing of true bravery. So then... Master Foresight. I beg of you. If your faith will not will be your shield, Lady Pomo, let me be the sword at your side. Onward, together! Sir... Lady Izzelhart comes calling. Oh? Does she now? How thoughtful of her to save me the trouble of hunting her down myself. <laughs> it's all playing out just as the boss said. Which reminds me... Wasn't he supposed to be joining us? Yeah! On that matter, sir, I'm afraid there's been a cha slight change of plans. He left a message. It appears there are some preparations he would see to first. <laughs> That's our boss. He's always had a flair for the dramatic. Sir? No doubt he's preparing a welcoming party for his own, of his own. My lady is a part. Tis a pity you know, you'll not live to see it. For the right wing will snuff the life out of you right here. Alrighty. Going exploring. Here we go. Look around. There we go. Move right along. And up here? Nothing. Alrighty. Do you do do?
Cyrus doing three spells. Big elements. And to open another 5,000 gold for me. And I came down here. This is the beginning of your end. Sweet time. That bullshit. What's this? Out of my way. You ready? Darkness. <laughs> Oh no, no, he's good Neo. That's right. Alright, anything to the right of me? Oh, 
Another level up. There you go. Do it that way. Mm, give us a little bit of saving the way here. And away we go. Obsidian Maidens. What the fuck? Oh, you ran into that. Out of my way. Alright, bye bye. Nothing doing. Anything on the right? things to do. Let's do it. You're a stubborn one, aren't you? Like father, like daughter. So you were the one who clipped the left wing. And you are the right. I have waited too long for this day. This man is... No. It cannot be. You really did a number on us, didn't you? The left was responsible for maintaining and expanding our little circle of friends. I provided the coin. Quite the team, I say so myself. Nothing, no one could stand in our way. And now you've gone and fouled it up. <laughs> Have I now? All I've done is removed a filthy scavenger from this world. One must grow, and our realm will be better off for it. You're a bold one, I'll give you that. Uh, but it seems I have another guest today. It's been a while, my friend. So it is you. Lady Primrose, this is the man who disappeared after your father's murder. The man I feared dead. Man of honor. What? Eh? 
my life good, but it doesn't buy you much. How could I have been so blind? It was you who sold out Jeffrey to those villains! He trusted you more than anyone. Oof! And you stabbed him in the back for a post in the God's Damned League. That's my second command. A bit slow on the uptake, but you'd always figure it out in the end. This village was a rotten husk long before Jeffrey is a hard man's head. Anyone who had their wits knew the obsidians were pulling all the strings from the shadows. I just would cast my lot with the winning horse. Simple business decision. Lady Azelhart. Your father's the grand way of peace and order until the day he met his end. He would talk of his vaunted fame and how it would shield the town from any danger. Pity him. He couldn't even save himself. And now a field of headstones is all that remains of the once proud House Azelheart. <laughs> it was to show you what the faith of a fool is worth. <laughs> Traitorous bastard! Lord Jeffrey was a thousand times the man you are! You'll sully his name no longer! Master Foresight, enough! But Lady Primrose! The time for talk has entered. Bitch! This man, if one can even call him a man, should not live a moment longer. The fire in your eyes, girl. Yes. It reminds me of the fire in your father's eyes when he faced his end. I am Albus, proud bearer of the mark of the crow. Come at me, Primrose Azelhaunt. I will see that you meet the same fate as your dear father. Here we go! What do we do? Get two thousand out of my way. Chump change. Now that's 
than he. You fought wonderfully, Lady Primrose. 
There we go. Hmm. <gasps> Simeon? How did he know? Hmm. Ah, Primrose. Fancy meeting you here. Fancy? Hmm. What brings you to this terrible place? It's starting to seem suspicious. About that, you see. You motherfucker. <laughs> There's something I simply had to tell you. I heard that you were looking around for my friend here. You motherfucker. <laughs> and you know what they say about birds of a feather. The bar. Oh, shit. But, but why? Simeon! Do forgive me, Lady Primrose. There was just one thing I forgot to mention. The head of the obsidians, the crow atop the roost, and oh yes, the one who killed your dear, dear father. It was me. It was me all along! No, it can't be. Bravo! Oh, bravo, Lady Primrose! I knew you had it in you. That was a virtuoso performance, my love! The audience gasps. At long last, she tracks down the villain she's been hunting all these years, only to find out it is her one true love. Goddamn. Yeah, Look at the tears she weeps, the blood she spills, and pity her. Oh, the tragedy! It moves me to the depths of my soul! Save the day. Whoop, whoop. Mm hmm. Simeon. Yes, what do you want? Where are you going? To work, or else? The hedges weren't once for trimming. Who cares about the gardens? Won't you stay with me? I feel so much at peace when you're with me. Won't you read me one of your poems, pretty please? As you wish, my lady. Don't worry not to your pretty heart. I'll always be watching over you. Oh, thank you. Damn, bruh. Was it all a dream? Ugh. Oh, no. This That nightmare was all too real. Oh, bother. What? Thank the heavens you've come back to us at last. How long has it been, darling? Darling, come quickly. Oh! My lady Primrose, why I feared we had lost you forever. 
I feared the same, my dear. Alrighty. Thank the gods! Oh, but the heavens have, can be merciful. So then... Master Forsyth, I... Mm -hmm. You slept for three days and three nights. But... I... I see. Mm -hmm. That terrible man that Simeon fled town before we can do a thing. Whatever does he hope to accomplish by such monster steeds? Everything about that man is a mystery. <clears throat> I was, however, able to convince one of the lackeys to talk. They say he makes for the town of Everhold in the mountains to the south of here. What business he has here, I cannot say. I understand. Then I know where I must go. Farewell. Would that I could join you, but I am not as young as I once was. I have a family that needs me. Be safe, my dear child, and you may find the answers you seek. Thank you. Thank you, Master Forsyth. I will, you can be certain of that. Alrighty. Mysteries on un are unraveling. And so Primrose left home behind once more, her ultimate goal finally in reach. Only one man, the leader of the Crows, remains to be dealt with. Yet knowing her his identity, each step she takes feels heavier than lead than lead. The final act awaits her in Everhold in the Highlands, but will her tale come to an happy end? Happy or tragic end? Hmm. Alrighty. And that's where we're going to end this part. If you ended up enjoying it, then please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure to check out those links in the description. One more head over to my Discord server, the other to my Patreon page. Any donations are greatly appreciated. Until next time, everyone, bye bye.